Hey guys, it's Alex today coming at you with a little dating channel video that I wanted to talk about um, that somebody brought up in the in one of the comments. Um, guys my age, late 30s, early 40s, you know, we we can we can span a big range in terms of our dating life and who, who we can attract. We can attract someone in their 20s, 21, 22, believe it or not. Not that you want to do such a thing because I don't think it's sustainable long term. And uh, you can attract someone all the way up to 50 something years old, 51, 52. And women in Florida, they maintain themselves really good uh, up until that age. You know, maybe just genetically or maybe they work out more because this area is a little superficial or they get mommy makeovers and they get the fat sucked out of their gut and put it on their butt and we're, we're in like Flynn. So vasectomies, right? A vasectomy literally takes any oops away from you potentially getting someone pregnant. Now, when you're late 30s, early 40s, you know whether you want another kid if you already have some or to have any kids. Like in my case, I don't want nothing to do with any children. I'll be honest with you. The more I date, and the more I date someone that has younger children, the more I know that it is more difficult to establish something concrete, long-term. I want to be able to bang you on the couch. I want to be able to bang you in the kitchen. And if there's a kid around getting in the way of that, I'm less likely to be in it. Now, if your kid's a little older, you can work around that. But when they're very much hands-on, it's very tough. And I want to be able to do things. I'm really set in my ways, so I'm not really that tolerant. Okay? So that means my options are kind of, you know, messed up. So I know I don't want children in my life or to raise my own set of kids. I just don't want to do that. That is, I've never wanted that. I remember growing up, my focus was baseball and cars and you know being active and then once I started you know when I was a millwright I was like I just want to do this and I want to just race cars and I didn't I never once gave thought to saying let me just raise a kid for the rest of my life no like it never entered my head even my father at one point uh, he wanted to have a, a child later in life and I said uh, you know, he asked me about it because I'm the youngest of three he was like what do you uh, what do you think if I have another kid? And I'm like, your sperm is old as shit, dude. I mean, if the if you want if you want to have a kid, that that's that's on you, man. But you're you're old, so bro, that's on you. So he and I said, why do you ask me? Said, well, you're the youngest of three, so I don't want you to feel weird about it. And I'm like, well, I appreciate you looking out, but I really don't care. It's it's your call. So vasectomies, is that something you should do? Are you taking th certain something away from someone you love potentially? Are you are you taking options away? Damn skippy, you're taking options away. You're basically saying a child is never going to be a byproduct of this relationship. So they have to know that going in. Now, to be honest, in my last relationship, probably the first time she'll hear this because I'm sure she listens like a hawk. You guys know the exes listen. And even the, the girls that are interested or think they're in the, you know, they're in the, they're in the, 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 the area, they're listening like a hawk and I know this. Um, in my last relationship, I thought of having a secret vasectomy because there would be times where, you know, you wouldn't have sex for a couple of weeks. You know, they go away for vacation or they go away for you know, secret trips to Italy or some shit like that or work related uh, travel and I thought you know what I could schedule it so that I could get a vasectomy at the at the beginning of the uh, that and then by the time that everything sort of normalizes and I'm you know everything's good and I've gotten I've, I've busted a couple of nuts in a cup and have given the okay to um, you know that you're not you know there's no there are no fish in the ocean then I, I thought I'd be in the clear. But then I thought, that's kind of fucked up. You know, because you wanted the option, the option of having kids. Now, no freaking way do I want to have an oopsie baby at 42 years old. 
No way. A child is forever, guys. And a lot of you guys that are out there don't realize this. The moment you have a child with a woman, you're attached to that woman forever. 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 It's not for like 18 years. Forever. Oh, when the kid graduates high school. What about that? You got to be at the, you know, that's 18. How about college? How about when the kid has kids? Kid goes to jail. Kid does something stupid. You are attached to that woman forever because you have produced a child together. People don't even think about that. So, a vasectomy, in my opinion, if you are 100% sure that you do not want to have a child, I think a vasectomy is the way to go. And I think that's something I'm going to have to consider in the very near future. Now, what happens when you get a vasectomy in terms of dating life? Well, I've met women that had said, this factory is shut down. I appreciate that because then I'm like, thank God she does not want it. She can't have children. I'd love to verify that somehow, but I'm still not busted in it until I verify some shit. How do you do that? I don't know. You just, yeah, I can't, I don't trust anybody. So when you're dating, that question comes up a lot. Women go, do you want to have kids? And I'm like, at 42? At 42? And I'm going to be honest. I'm selfish. I want to spend the money on me. I want to buy a house, a badass house. I want to build some more hot rods. I want to do cool shit. I want to do a home gym. I just want to do cool shit. I really don't want to raise a kid. Every single time I see a parent with a child between the ages of zero and like seven, their face, their mannerisms, they're just like defeated. Because, you know, sometimes you want to wail on this kid, but you can't. So, you have to tell the, the, the person you're dating, hey, uh, just to give you a heads up, I had a vasectomy, so I can't. I can't have kids, and I'm not looking to have kids. And if you would like to have kids, then I, I am not the guy you should date. Now, honestly, I'm already at that point. I'm already at that point. Anytime a girl tells me I would like to have kids in the future, in the first six months of dating, you got to go. You got to go. Love you. Got to go. I don't want that for my life. I don't want my life the way I, I foresee it till it, till it, it's over does not involve children of my own. Now, I have gone out with women that have children. I have no issue. But I understand that if you have really young kids, I'm less likely to date you because I don't want to have to deal with baby daddy. I don't want to have to deal with kid things. It's, it, it is a narrow field that I'm working in. And every time I see a woman that has no kids, but still has the ability to have kids, I'm probably not going to date that person. So, vasectomy, is it right for you? If you are 100% sure that you do not want children, and that is like, that's something not to be taken lightly. If you are, who's 100% sure, 100% sure about anything? Well, in this subject matter, I'm 100% sure. I do not want to have children. I've never looked at a child and gone, I want one of those. I've never looked at a couple that had a child and said, they look happy. I've never looked at a child and said, I think I could bring him up better than anyone else, especially with the shit that's going on nowadays. Do you think I want to have to deal with a public school teaching kid, my kid public uh, uh, common core math, teaching him bullshit history, teaching him shit that I know is bullshit. Am I going to have to homeschool the kid? Am I going to have to send him to a private school, him or her? And then hope that the person doesn't become Jeffrey Dahmer. The best you could do is have the kid be alive. But I think we are who we are when we come out of the womb. We are who we are. No one taught me to be the way I am. I just was. So for all I know, I could produce a Jeffrey Dahmer or even worse. And that's the last thing. Could you imagine like the, the parents of, of a serial killer? Like we didn't bring him up to fucking eat people. We brought him up to be a good guy and play baseball. And he's out there putting people in the fridge. So that, I don't want to have nothing to do with that. So vasectomy. If you're 100% sure that it's not going to happen. Because let's be honest, guys. When, you, when you're when you with a girl, condoms are just not an issue. Not a viable.
viable option if you want the sex to be good. When you're with them, you trust them, you've done the testing, and you're all safe and clear, condoms go away. Hell, nowadays, they're almost never in play. And I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. You got, you got to be ready. You got to be ready. But when it comes to vasectomy, I think it's very important that you have that conversation with yourself and nobody else. Because it is your dick and balls that we're talking about here. So, vasectomy. Let's talk about it in the comment section. Is it something that should be considered in the late 30s, early 40s, when you are 100% certain that you don't want children? Or do you want to keep the options open in case you meet the right one? Or you don't want anyone touching your junk and leaving it as is until you die? Let's talk about it in the comment section. I thought it'd be a fun subject to talk about and my thoughts on vasectomies. Thanks for listening, guys. We'll talk to you later.